morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi Tayut. In today's random video, I felt like I need to make a video about this. Why? Oh, I need to new use this on. Because I had my birthday this year, this week. And during this birthday, this was the first time in my life, 43 years old by the way, I received a digital thing that had value. For the first time in my life, I received an NFT. an amazing NFT created by Marcel van Luyt. I will tell you more about that later. And it was given to me by Morten from Airdrop Alert with his team. And at the moment that I received the present, I already was thinking, wow, this is the first time. This is my first time I have never received a birthday present that is digital, that has value. And the day after I woke up and I'm like, okay, that's so beautiful that, that nobody even understands now what I'm telling. So maybe I need to make a video on this to show you what does it mean to receive an NFT and what is it and why do it makes, does it make me so happy. An NFT guys is going to change the whole world when it comes to um, proof of ownership. It stands for non-fungible token. It means that the ownership of anything you can imagine can be registered on the blockchain as your and you can transact or send that ownership to somebody else through the usage of blockchain. This is huge because you know that everything that is minted on the blockchain, registered on the blockchain, can never be deleted again. It will always be there. It will always be the proof of that ownership. And there is many examples of that I can now uh, mention to you, but I want to keep the video a little bit short and like a little bit simple. But for example, my grandfather who lived in the Moluccan Islands in Indonesia, he lived there, he owned a piece of land. And the moment that there was a war, he needed to leave the Moluccan Islands to the Netherlands. The Netherlands took him to the Venlo. And then when he came there and he grew up and he wanted to go back to claim his land, the land was given away. And why was it given away? Because he couldn't prove ownership anymore. Because of the war, all the archives were burned. There was no paper that was showing he was the owner or that he was the first son of the father of which he should have inherited that land. If that all would have been registered on the block, that as an NFT, he would now still be able to prove that that land belonged to him and will after that belong to my father and after that belong to me, to the oldest grandson because it would have been on the blockchain copied to thousands of computers and nobody would have ever been able to delete it. That's one example of an NFT. The NFT is changing the whole art industry. Can you imagine every artist that makes a painting, a beautiful painting, it sells the original and then it, it's being copied. You know, many people copy those, uh, those uh, art pieces into posters, into stickers into fake art pieces and then it's going to be sold all over the world and the original artist will never receive any penny of that of all those copies that are legally being sold on all the black markets all over the world that is not how it should work he is the original artist he should be getting a commission on everything that is being sold as a copy on his painting and that is exactly what the blockchain and nfts is going to do he will be able to register his art piece as an NFT and that is the proof of ownership of that art piece and the only people and the people that have the access to that NFT, they are the owners. Yes, you can look at the NFT, but you can't prove the ownership if you don't have the private key to that wallet that the NFT is registered on. And that is amazing because that's going to change the whole art game. And the most beautiful part is that these artists, when I sell the NFT to another person for a profit, the artist that created it at the beginning will get a commission of that sale. 
just like a musician get a, gets a commission of the song that is it should should get commission on the songs that are being played on radio there are organizations that handle that but they don't handle it well music will become nfts as well because then they will make commission on every time again and again and again that the music will be played i'm talking about 10 years later guys i'm not talking about next year or the year after it will take some time but for the art industry this is huge because they can now prove ownership and you can not only prove the ownership you can maybe even own an art piece together you can own the mona lisa which is too expensive for one person to buy but now you can have a co-ownership registered on the blockchain because it's an nft with millions of people owning a small piece of that painting all beautiful possibilities in the future but that is not why I'm talking about this. Yes, that is why I'm talking about it. But I want to show you my art piece. I want to show you the art piece. It's called Ziggy. This one. Bam. I received Ziggy from Morton. And Ziggy is this beautiful lion. It's created, guys, by Marcel van Luyt. His website is marcelvanluyt.com. 1982. He's a beautiful uh, artist, amazing artist. I love all his, his stuff that he is creating. He's, he's kind of known for his visualizing, dreamy art, which I, is, is like contemporary art, which I really like. But check his website if you want to see more, marcelvanluyt.com. Now I'm going to talk about Ziggy. Not Ziggy Mali, but Ziggy, the art piece, the NFT that I received for my birthday. Like you can see, from Ziggy, there are only 100 editions. So that means that only 100 people in the world can own one Ziggy. One of these. There's only going to be 100 copies. Which makes it really exclusive. Because only 100 people can be the owner of the same original art piece that will be registered as an NFT on the blockchain. That's awesome. I can now show you the proof of my ownership. By showing you this. Bam. Here you see ether scan that it was sent to me you can see that it is mine you can see that it's even registered to the bitcoin family and if i want to sell this one which i will never of course but i can sell it and then i can send this nft to another ethereum address for example and then he receives the ownership of ziggy like you can see he didn't, didn't only create ziggy but he also created levi and the crypto flamingo levi there's only 50 editions so that's even more exclusive and the crypto flamingo there are only two editions which made which makes us the most exclusive art piece as an nft that he is selling yes the more exclusive the higher the price will be because less people will be able to own a copy of that art piece it's amazing this industry is going to change tremendously because of that so what is ziggy about ziggy is about being different because being different isn't a bad thing it means that you're brave enough to be yourself marcel created this piece when he felt like the creatives around me were trying to fit in some kind of profile to become a success story a lot of people trying to fit in any way it's always most interesting to be authentic to be yourself the privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are to ziggy is about being different not to be afraid to be different to be who you truly are have no fear if you're different than others and i think that is exactly why that morton and his team gave me this beautiful nft as a present because they understand that i want to be different i don't want to be running the hamster wheel i don't want to be doing the same thing every time again and again and again i want to disrupt the system to build a new one that is also good for other people the poor people i try to be different and i'm not afraid to be it i think that's why they gave it to me and i'm very thankful morton and the team that you gave me this beautiful nft it was the first time ever i will always remember that first time not talking about sex guys that first time i received an nft for my birthday thank you morton and um, i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you understand a little bit more now what an nft is I will make more videos about NFTs because it's like crazy cool at the moment. It's going to be hyped in the next bull run as more, I think. I think this is only the start of NFTs. I think the next run, 2025, will be all about NFTs. I think everything in the world will be converted to an NFT. Houses, cars, art, many other things. But let me know your opinion. Let me know if you like this video. If you did like the video, give the video a thumbs up. 
share it with your friends or family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave that comment. Let me know what will be the newest NFT rage in this world. What do you think that should become NFTs and why do you think that should become an NFT? Let me know your opinion because I love to read your opinions and I love to respond to your opinions. I want to thank you for watching today's video and hopefully see you tomorrow again guys. Zooming out, it's Sunday. I'm going to enjoy the beach now here and fly the comment because tomorrow we will fly to Europe or something like that. Maybe now I already arrived in Europe. I don't know when I'm going to post this video. What a stupid ending. Thanks and let me know what you think guys. Bam!